Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about something I've wanted to show you for a few months now, but I've not been able to find all the parts and pieces to that, and I'll get back to that in a little bit. But we're going to talk about the iOmega Click Discs. These uh, came out in 1999, or only around a couple of years, a kind of a failure, and I'm guessing a lot of you probably have never seen these before, and I only vaguely remember when they came out, and I certainly never operated one until now. And just to give you an idea of how small these are, they're very tiny, they're mechanical floppy type disk, and they hold 40 megabytes. And they were designed to go into uh, MP3 players or digital cameras, as well as attach them to your desktop computer. And so let's just take a look at how small these are. This is a standard three and a half inch floppy, and this is a two and a half inch Sony mini disk, and here is the click disk. So pretty small. And the main way you'd get them inside of your computer is with a Picky Mickey card. So the entire drive is actually, if you can believe that, inside of this Picky Mickey card. It's that thin, and the discs are that thin that they go inside of this. They also had a kind of a three-piece camera adapter monstrosity uh, thing you could buy where you could plug the a click disc on one side and a compact flash on the other and trade files and then you could take off the part that had the uh, click disc in it and stick it inside a parallel port dock and then connect it to your desktop computer that wouldn't have a picky mickey slot. But all of those things were PC uh, centric. The, this picky mickey card wouldn't work in a, in a Mac slot and the parallel port of course Macs didn't have that so at first these were a PC only thing and then they finally came out with uh, this device here which is a USB dock, and then they advertise it as working with Macs. This is very rare. This is what I've been waiting on a few months. Uh, the, the discs and the Picky Mickey card and that camera adapter kit, all that stuff's always on eBay. It's easy to find. This, very, very rare. Almost no information about it on the internet. Um, so I had a search in there every day, and finally one came up, and I was able to get it. So you're probably thinking that, okay, well, you just put the click disc in here, and actually you don't. There's no drive mechanism in here. It's just simply a pass-through for the uh, Picky Mickey card. So you put the card in here, beeps to let you know it's connected, and then you put the disc inside the Picky Mickey slot. And then we will plug this in, see how it works. See, it comes up real fast, much faster than that uh, magneto optical drive I did last time. So there's some pictures and a song on here. And we can pull them up. This is a USB 1.1 device, so it is not uh, super fast at all. have a song on here just like last time with the magneto optical drive we'll we'll let it cache for a few seconds i think the magneto optical drive was possible it was a usb 2 device but I, I think the cable i had attached to it might have been a usb 1.1 device in that last video so i think that disc might have been a little faster than i was giving it credit for i think i just had um, the wrong cable but this whole device is usb 1.1 there's no getting around it So let's see if we can listen to a little something. All right. And we, uh, of course, have uh, write access. So let's take uh, this PDF here and we'll copy it to the click drive. Go back to the click drive and there is that PDF. I 
Let me see. Oh, let's see if we can zoom on a little better. So that works very well. And again, it's an ejectable media, removable media, but if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that that isn't supported inside the interface for the files app on the iPhone. And I've always had to unplug the device, plug it back in, and then like hold down an eject button. This is actually a manual release. So to get, this is kind of easier because to get the disc out, all I do is pull the USB cable out and then this whole eject process is manual to get the disc out. And this button here is to get the Picky Mickey card out. So that is it. This is a neat little format. Um, you know, I think it was inevitably going to be doomed because of the dropping price of flash um, media. But maybe if it been able, they'd been able to get it out a couple years earlier, it might have had a little bit more of a foothold before it inevitably was replaced. But I like it. It's really cool. Works well on the iPhone. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. I am going to have two more videos by the end of the year, and then I've got big plans for 2020. But that's all for now. Thank you.